Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Wine Library TV. I'm your host, Gary Vaynerchuk. Today we will be talking about the 2003 vintage in the Rhone region, specifically the Southern Rhone, and specifically this wonderful baby right here, the 2003 Cave de Cologne Chat of the Pop. Cave de Cologne is, a, is really the story of a man, Monsieur Soma, who is a winemaker that has pretty much revolutionizing what's going on in Burgundy. He's got a lot of hype, a lot of excitement. I've been hearing about him for several years now. Munir is, is very interesting. He was born in Lebanon and he learned how to become a winemaker from monks in Israel. In 1995 he came, went to Burgundy full-time and he's worked for some negotiants and now he's been working on his own projects. And one of them is Cobb de Cologne. Cobb de Cologne is available only to us and one other major retailer in the U.S. and several top restaurants around the country. So we've been very fortunate to jump on early on and we're, we're really excited about the wines. The O2s were a huge campaign for us given that Burgundy was really great. Uh, the Southern Rhone and the, uh, and the uh, Northern Rhone wines did very well, but they were tough vintages. As many of you out there know, 2002 was an atrocious vintage. O3 is a different story. As many of you remember, very hot in Bordeaux, Burgundy, Rhone, all of France, all of Europe, even Italy. Uh, made for a very interesting vintage. The wines are very over the top, very big, very bold, not traditional, which uh, has been an interesting argument against new wave and old school drinkers. What I will tell you about this is that the, uh, the first batch of O3s that I was able to taste were all out of barrel. They were all very tight because they were so big, so I have not had this out of the bo bottle. The reason I'm choosing to taste this wine today is that there's quite a lot of hype going on. We had a, we had an in-store tasting on this wine either this Saturday or Saturday before. I can't recall right this moment. And we sold an obscene amount of wine, pretty much half our allocation. Uh, the wine is a very small cuvee and there's not a lot of it, so we only get our little portion. So we're already almost out of it. We sold out of the O2 very quickly and again, that was not a strong vintage. So I'm going to taste it and really give you my thoughts and see what happens. I, I expect to like it. I've liked most of Monior's wines. Again, for, for a 38-year-old winemaker, he is a star. He is going to be huge. Classic, classic color. You know, that ruby, grenache, Syrah blend color. I'll tell you that the nose is full of strawberry, which, you know, Grenache always gives me that feel. You can definitely tell the Grenache used in this was tremendous. Let's give it a whirl. Wow. Well, if I was Emeril, I'd be booming and bamming and whatever the hell he does, but the reality is this is a Wow, the finishes, you're talking, this finish will probably last another 10 seconds. You're talking about a 45 second finish when all said and done. Great mid palate, uh, classic Chat of the Pop. And a lot of people haven't experienced Chat of the Pop, so if you have not bought or tried any Chat of the Pop at this point in your wine drinking career, please go and do so. The wines are, to me, one of the, one of the, easily one of the best values out there today. They, they're they still underpriced, they have not exploded. Shot of the Pops of this quality in the next couple of years are going to be $75, $85. We're talking about a category that has gotten tremendous press, but yet we have not seen the explosive price that we've seen the California Cabs and the Bordeaux go through. Uh, this Cobb de Cologne is excellent. Most of the O3s I've had, I've really enjoyed. Now again, I like the fruit and some of the tra traditionalists have not. But I will tell you that they're fun wines. They're easy to drink now. This has been open for about 45 minutes. It's opened up quite a bit since I tasted it at a barrel. And it's spectacular. This is a, a 93-point wine. This is easily a 93-point wine. I recommend it highly. Let's go out and get some. Please try it if you get a chance. We will probably do an in-store tasting again and look for that. So you, if you get a chance. And if not, find it at a restaurant because they're out there at some of the best places. And don't, don't miss out. Cobb de Cologne. O3 shot of the pop. I say yes. Let's go for it. Thanks again, Wine Library TV.